I'm uncomfortable again. I'm uncomfortable again. Oh dear. Not a smirk. Oh, what a that wasn't funny. Hey y'all, what is up? This is Ace, and this is the last episode of Salad Fingers, episode 10, birthday. Hopefully we can clear some things up and I can understand if my theory's correct or completely off base my ankle itches. That's why I'm over here. There we go. But I'll see. I'll, I'm not going to watch any the theory, theory videos before I talk about what I think it is, but then I will watch it and we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's just do it. Let's roll the tape. Let's go. Last episode, I'm excited. I'm less disturbed now that I have a theory about what it is. But I may have to go back and look at the first two to completely understand. As it's Hubert's birthday, it would be rather polite if you took a hot bath. Who is it? Milford Cubicle. You're a bit pooey. <coughs> Same. Hubert Cumberdale. Oh, them's trousers a bit posh sunshine. And how old are you going to be? <coughs> they do grow up fast. Who on earth could that be? It's far too early for guests. Is it actually his birthday? I have a lot of questions. Who the devil are you? No, but for real. Who the devil is you? Oh, I guess go back inside? Let's see what the fingers make of all this. Fingers. Oh. Y y you appear to be free of all information. He must use his fingers to understand the world around him. Uh, I would advise you, young Binnikins, not to associate yourself with such an ignorant, textualist pole. Yeah. He's got a thing for te with textures. Yep. I'm... Are you Hubert's birthday stick? What? What is a birthday stick? No answer. My good As I expected. Come on, Sludgeworth. I won't ask you again. Well, someone's a saggy slumber chaps. Hold I don't know what that this is. This might get your gears in motion. Those what could be animals, actually? I'm uncomfortable again. I'm uncomfortable again. Oh dear. Not a smirk. Oh, what a that wasn't funny. That wasn't funny. to fall under. Underwood. Horace, you're in charge until I get back. From where? What are you doing? This is the last episode. Don't make me sad. Don't do that. I just want him to be happy. Oh no, where are you going? Did he escape? Don't you crumple your face up at me, Hubert Jason Cumberdale. Jason? We've a duty to fetch the doctor since our wandering guest has fallen ill. The pole? For the Everyone sees the, the ear, ear, ear doll stitched up thing, there right? he is. Trusty old Dr. Papanak. <laughs> Just here for the old once over, Doc. <laughs> um, I, I suppose you'll be checking me for nimpers and camel spots. <laughs> What is that? Ow. 
Now we're in the weird territory again. Probably shots. Please be shots. It's it's probably getting blood drawn now that I've had time to process, but I... I... That looks extremely phallic. Well, switch my knickers. We're awfully late. I must have slept for six Mondays. in staples. Uh, Horace, I said you could bring one friend. What are the horses? <laughs> I don't understand. <gasps> but they're Mr. all real Cubicle. now. Uh, what's become of your outer casing? Your, your butter hollow structure. You. Foul creatures. When I find which one of you wretched beasts consumed Mr. Cubicle's flesh, oh, there'll be heavens to pay. I don't know what Mr. Cubicle is. Go on, bugger off, the bloody lot of you. Get out of my house. Did he leave? He must have gone again. out of the place and then was put back I in later? The ringleader here, aren't you? You should feel a great shame for this outcome, sir. A great shame. He's older now, so maybe they oh. put him back in. I, I see you invited the whole platoon. Is this remaining seat reserved for me? I'm so glad this crazy train is about to be over because I can't do it anymore. Present. How much longer uh, is the. Uh, for me? Uh, um, I thought you'd all forgotten. Is that his family? Face is that? Well, I don't know what that last episode was, but I have no theories. I thought that maybe he went to the doctor and then they let him go, uh, or something. I don't know what that last scene was about. I'm really confused. I may have to look that one up because I don't get it, but the from what I can tell from the first nine, well, if we start with episode one, he likes the rust and stuff. And it's like a stimmy thing, I think. 
because it has a texture to it because he doesn't like things that don't have a good texture he gets overwhelmed by lots of noises that he doesn't like as seen by the radio what's his name robert roger so that's a thing it seems like whenever the others are talking except for the girl and the yellow person and the the boyfriend whatever was talking uh, it seemed like th- what was coming, the voices from the other characters, other than those four or whatever, were mimicking things that probably happened to him. Because otherwise, why would he start crying after thinking about it? But when they write home uh, from the war, it could just be that they're gone. Or one of them died, and that the, the Jeffrey or whatever was in the ground is one that died. The horse, I think, was a gift. It was a gift. And then the horses in the end were real. And then that led to the stick coming out. So I don't really know exactly what that ending was about. But I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it was something to deal with mental illness and you know, because he seemed fine until like with the toilet when he said flushing the bad thoughts away. It's kind of like, you know, keeping those dark, sad thoughts from creeping into your mind and things like that. So I definitely think it's relating to that kind of thing. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But that's just my theory on it. And then basically that whole journey, that's what that seemed like. It was like a journey of mental illness and how some people struggle to deal with it and coping with things, different coping mechanisms. I could be wrong. Could be my own mental illness is talking. You know, I don't know. Yeah. So you know what to do. Drop a like, comment, subscribe, become a home skillet today. And I'm out of here. I'll watch Spoilsberry Toast Boy next time. I'm out of here. I love y'all. Deuces.